Hazard Outdoors. Um, outdoors. Come out. Um, it took a lot longer than planned to get out. I apologise for that. But life gets in the way and uh, I haven't been well as well. But you don't want to hear about that rubbish. Um, I've come out and it's taken me forever to get a fire lit. Um, just because I was unprepared, which is the first rule of fire lighting, I suppose, come from a bit, bit prepared. I say I was unprepared, however, I have brought my own fuel today. Um, once I actually got um, a flame, uh, it, it's fine, it's burning very well. My thing that I'm using today is I made these um, toilet roll uh, or cardboard tubing. Well, it, sound, it sounds better. Um, and then inside is filled with cat pellets or cat litter pellets, the wood ones. And then uh, either side I've got cotton wool uh, and then doused the whole lot in, in uh, melted wax. And one of those, <coughs> you can't, you can see it burning in the corner. One of those burns for about half an hour. Um, and I've got another two to go on to it. Um, and then when I run out of those, I've got my alcohol burner. So I was going to do, yeah, I was going to have a cup of hot chocolate and uh, a cup of soup. And then, yeah, that was it really. My other reason for coming out was to have a lay in this thing, which uh, was another grand expenditure of mine. Uh, I blamed, I blame, um, uh, Hoop Bibby Camper. Hoop Bibby Camper. Uh, Hoop Bibby. Uh, it's it's mainly his fault because I saw all his videos and um, this thing looks amazing. Uh, it's basically it's supposed to keep up my warmth a bit more and. I have been, I, I do tend to sleep cold, <coughs> so I should avoid that now with this thing. Um, and it's just, it's just an expansion on my old Bibby, which was just um, the maggot that you call into from the uh, British Army. Um, this is the Dutch Army Bibby, for those who don't know. Most of you guys, most of you guys don't know, I imagine. Um, <coughs> I've been trying to reproof it with waterproofing, um, and I've been using Nick Wax. Not been that great. I've done the wash in, and then I've done the uh, spray jobby, and it's still not massively um, impressed with it. So if you, any of you guys have any better ideas, uh, I don't really want to use Fabsil if I can help it because it's not as breathable I hear as uh, Nick Wax. Um, if if that comes the case, then I'll just uh, stay with something over top of me, um, and I won't bother waterproofing it. It doesn't doesn't really matter. No, it's just I prefer it. Um, what else have I got? I did. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just stepping out of shot. Right. Uh, in my uh, absence of illness, I've <laughs> been on eBay instead and stuff like that. Right. I got this from uh, Gearbass actually, and I may ask. I, th I think this was a bargain because it was free. I uh, didn't even have to pay for shipping because uh, I ordered old stuff from them and they'd been naughty and not sent it so um, they refunded me and with the refund I got this so it worked out as free not really but that's what I tell the wife right. so I've got myself a shelter or a heat reflector or I don't know heat reflector I think but it'll also obviously keep that shaded so people won't be able to see I'm here 
which will be cool. Oh, it does reflect the heat actually, I haven't tried it before, but yeah, nice one. Uh, right, got that. So that was free. Never complain at free stuff. This was cheap. Um, not quite free, but it was very cheap. It was on uh, EB, EBBB. Uh, I think it was about seven quid, six quid. Um, and it is a screw together. Um, These, you've, you've got many extensions on these legs, but I'm not going to screw them all in because it'll take forever and you don't need to watch me screwing something. Um, if you did, that would be a different channel and uh, that's premium. <coughs> <coughs> all right, now then. Yeah, you've got a little tripod and that does go up to about this height and then you can dangle your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that good? Isn't that impressive? <coughs> um, so yeah, that, that's quite that's quite cool. Got that. And yeah, like I say, there's another extension on there. How many have I got? One there. So that would take that up to that height. And then there's another one there. I'll take that up to there. So uh, yeah, that's that's a good sort of three foot off the ground. Uh, this I thought would be more useful for um, uh, not so much day camps because I just bring my little stove for that. I was thinking more when I go to my permission with uh, Jay. Got to call him Jay now. I've heard because he's he's had special badges made up. So um, so I'll have to stop calling him Knobhead. <coughs> Uh, the other big spend, well, big spend, it's not really huge, is it? Is my axe. I needed an axe because I only had a cheap rubbish one. So, I got the Fiskars X10. And, um, well, it's, it's good, actually. I, I've, I've uh, put an edge on it. And I can't put an edge on anything, so I cheated and I used the Fisker's sharpener, and it's sharp. It is sharp, yeah. Uh, you can. Can you even see what I'm doing? There you go. See, not much. But it def definitely um, does the job, so. And I think this is long enough as well, so if I wanted to, I could, uh, it could handle some slightly larger jobs if it came to it, which is good. Good. Um, that's my favourite, and that's, that's my favourite big expenditure recently. <coughs> Can I put a drink on? Hmm. Okay, I'll put one of those on. Once that starts burning, I'll get a drink on the go, I think. Um, but anyway, thanks for thanks for being around. Um, I am again truly sorry for not being on on the on the channel enough. My problem has, you know, I have had a few personals going on, um, but I'm back on it now and. My next big camp, if you can see me, should be uh, just after May, I think, or just at the end of May. End of May. I'll go for one, yeah, so third week of May I'll go. Um, the and, and then I'm going abroad. I'm not going to go for a wild camp abroad, that would be fun, but I can't see the missus taking off on that one. There we go. Beautiful. Right. Um, 
so yeah again I'm sorry I haven't been about but uh, had, had stuff going on so um, this was literally just a catch up just trying to tell you guys what's been going on and why I haven't been about um, but so so I've just literally ran out into the woods told the missus that uh, I've got to and um, I'm hiding in my local and and the, the other thing I did want to say if you guys have got any advice is I do struggle finding um, <coughs> finding new places uh, I put up on one of the Facebook forums like you know what do you guys do to scout out new places because uh, um, local forestries are okay but um, it's, it's not really enough of them and they're quite public uh, what I was hoping for was to get somewhere where um, uh, which isn't as public but the issue is most of them around my area anyway are all fenced off and uh, on Facebook people say you know oh no you mustn't mustn't cross over somebody's uh, somebody's fences you know they've obviously got the fences up for a reason you, you should go and ask permission but we all know how that works out unless you pre know the people you tend to find out that they just think you're a nut job who wants to go and sit in their woods um, and do God knows what, even though you say, I'm just going to go and, you know, just sit in there and watch wildlife, which is all I come and do. I like to come and get quiet, and apart from when I record these things, <coughs> I don't even necessarily have to have a fire. The alcohol burner is enough just to have um, a cup of tea. But people... Well, people are nervous of you know giving permission for their land, which is understandable. It's a it's a lot of um, it's a lot to ask of somebody who's just strange, a, a complete stranger, and they turn up on your doorstep. Um, but it's the frustration of being in the UK and uh, everybody owning land. Uh, you know, if I if I happen to have my own forest, that would be a lot easier. But hey, that day will come. That they will come, I'm sure. Anyway, thanks guys. Um, that's me out.